Good morning, folks. We're covering two topics today, space weather and seismic activity. There are two new papers on pre-seismic signals, an interesting one on Mars quakes, and the second paper of the last week on solar forcing of quakes. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star because there's certainly an uptick in solar flaring. While the solar wind and geomagnetic conditions remain quiet, and we await the coronal hole enhancement of that plasma stream, the northern sunspots have gotten extremely active the last few days. Earlier this morning, we took the second X-class solar flare amidst a flurry of M-class events. You can see those flare flashes here at 131 angstroms up on the north. A flaring bonanza to be sure, but luckily impulsive, not producing much in the way of CMEs. It's a good reminder that flare duration matters for CME production a great deal. You can see that lack of CME production better here in 193 angstroms. Lots of flashing up north, but not much in the way of eruptive action of the surrounding plasma. While this is a good thing, it does bring up something concerning. Since the flaring uptick began, SOHO coronagraphs have not updated. Very good thing we haven't had big CMEs. They are now approaching two days behind, and one hopes this aging scope hasn't had a major issue amidst the excess space weather energy it's taking right now. We'll certainly keep watching as more flares are expected. First up in the articles today, we've got two on pre-earthquake processes of an electromagnetic nature. The first here is on ionospheric anomalies of the E layer, the second lowest layer of the ionosphere. It's very common in the D region to see these, but not this high up. The second one looks at geomagnetic data and indicates that strong anomalies are present before large seismic events. These tend to begin many days before the shaking occurs. After this is an interesting one on Mars quakes. The InSight lander recorded them religiously while it was operating and this author ties the events to planetary alignments. While there is some bad information out there on this topic, the alignments of the planets do seem to have an impact on seismic activity many such studies for Earth, this one extending it to Mars. Last but not least, following up the recent paper on solar flares and earthquakes, this one hits geomagnetic storms and earthquakes, with the lead author likely being familiar to some of you channel veterans. While he was at NASA, he was one of several NASA scientists to cite our paper on how the sun makes quakes. That is two good papers on this solar forcing from just the last three days. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 4.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.